And look at that green smoothie, ready to go. And it fits in a mason jar. I promise I didn't even check that it would fit first. I just guessed and it was amazing. Good morning, Marmy. Welcome back to Mom Boss of Three and welcome to another Wellness Wednesday video. If you didn't see last week's video, be sure you go check it out. It was on chia pudding. And if you've never seen my face before, my name is Tina. I'm the mom of three young boys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you'd consider subscribing. Hit that bell notification, that way you will always get notified when I upload new videos three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. My youngest son is two and a half and will probably make noise throughout this video. If you're new to my channel, you might not know that my kitchen is under renovation, which is why I have no cabinets. Do not be alarmed. So today's video is focusing on green smoothies. So people make green smoothies all kinds of different ways. And today, my goal in this video is not really to focus on which one tastes the best, like the chia pudding from last week. My goal today is kind of talking about like a prep strategy that works for my family. I got some ideas on Pinterest, I've linked them down below, and that's kind of how I decided to prep for these green smoothies, and I wanna take you guys through the process. The first step was to take Greek yogurt, put it in a Ziploc bag, and get it into an ice cube tray and freeze it. So, as you can see, it all worked out. So that process wasn't as easy as it looked in the video that I saw. It's a little bit harder to do it, but again, the idea here is we're eliminating a step. Like you don't have to take your Greek yogurt out of the fridge and throw you know, two spoons in while you're making your shake. So in this green smoothie, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add spinach, one cup of fruit, some Greek yogurt cubes, and about half a cup of banana. You're gonna blend that all together with some almond milk, some regular milk, some water, whatever you want. Also in the video that I watched, they were doing this prep for green smoothies in plastic bags and you put five in your freezer and you store it. So today I decided to eliminate some of that waste. I was at the store and found these plastic containers, they're a good size, and I found three in a pack for less than three dollars and I thought this would eliminate the waste and they're freezer safe. So I'm going to get started and put these smoothies together. And throw in a handful of spinach in each container. So the purposes of this video, I'm only making three of these because it's Wednesday and I don't need too many more before the weekend. I'm gonna add two cubes of Greek yogurt in each one. So I'm actually gonna add more Greek yogurt, pump up the protein in this a little bit. So to this, I'm gonna add a cup of frozen fruit, it's what I have, so I've got some frozen mangoes and some frozen strawberries, so one cup in total. So it's a little bit more than a cup, but you know, it's fruit, it's fine. And that's it. So here we have our smoothie prep all ready to go. All you do is pop the lids on and put it in the freezer, and you're done. You make five of these and you got one Monday to Friday. Now you can modify this recipe any way you like. Again, this is not really about the recipe. I think some of the biggest tips that I got from what I found on Pinterest was making the Greek yogurt cubes, which again, isn't really necessary, but it allowed my two-year-old's playing the guitar right now. One of the biggest tips I did get from Pinterest is making these Greek yogurt cubes. Again, like I said, it's kind of messy. It's not really necessary, but it helps to eliminate a step especially if you're making your smoothies in the morning on the way to work. Then when you're ready to use one, all you do is pull one out of the freezer, use a cup of any milk that you like you could use, or you could even use water. I'm gonna use almond milk today. So you put in a cup into your blender. I use a Vitamix blender. It's one that I have and I was gifted. I actually didn't buy it, so I was gifted this blender. So I put in one cup of almond milk and I'm gonna throw in the contents of my box. Now assume this is all frozen. And look at that green smoothie, ready to go. And if it's in a mason jar, I promise I didn't even check that it would fit first. I just guessed and it was amazing. and it tastes really good too. So like I said, you can change up this recipe. You can use broccoli for the greens, kale, whatever you want. 
you can add more green. So when I prep them for myself, I'll probably have the same amount of fruit but add more green. So my goal in today's video was really to show you how you could prep on a Sunday to have smoothies for the entire week so you've got healthy snack options, a breakfast on the go. The only thing you'd have to do in advance is make the Greek yogurt cubes and again, it's optional. You don't have to take that step. So going through this process, I did learn something. I used to make my green smoothies just grabbing whatever was in the fridge and that worked too. But when you're on a time schedule and you only have five minutes to get out the door or you need a quick breakfast, this is an amazing thing to have in the freezer. Grab one, blend it up with some almond milk and you're good to go. Let me know in the comments below your favorite green smoothie recipe. I would love to try it out. If you try this green smoothie prep process, let me know how it worked out for you. I'll bring in my littlest munchkin for this part of the video. Hello, you wanna say hi to everyone? If you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and look out for next week's Wellness Wednesday video, which is gonna be overnight oats. Bye -bye. It's gonna be delicious. Bye -bye. You want a banana? I think bye -bye. Say yummy. Bananas. I hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos and follow me on my daily vlogs. I'm funny. March on Marmy. Let's get them both in there, both endings. It's a banana. It's a banana.